Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we'll be having another fun time in Standard and this time we're gonna be going with the wolf bug or Abzan Wolves. Kinda. So we have like, uh, you know, all the usual wolf cards like uh, Willow Heaven, uh, Arlene's Wolf, Ferocious Pup. Uh, we have Icon of Ascensory to put wolves to buff them up. We have a Nightbug Ambusher, Wicked Wolf, Mantle of the Wolf, Dolcimir, uh, Garuk, and Arlene, which are a lot of, um, you know, wolf cards. So you could say it's 80% wolf. We have a few Gilded Goose for some mana fixing, and also it's very good for the food synergies with Wicked Wolf to give it indestructible, which is really nice. We have Mythos of Nethroi, is a very good. Um, you know, distraction control spell that I haven't played with and I thought this would be a great chance to use it. I also have some other cool cards from Ikoria, such as Babam, Nethroi Apex of Death. We all know love this card. I haven't played with mutation for a long time now, since I did like 50 mutation decks just when the set came out. Still really love it. And yeah, basically we're gonna be using stuff like Nethroi's Mutation or Eerie Ultimatum, which is another card I haven't played with. And we're gonna be using these two cards to basically get everything from the graveyard back because a lot of our stuff will get destroyed. So having this basically just like get your shit st back from the graveyard is gonna be amazing. Now, without any further delay, let's finally get to the games. All right, onto our first game. Let's see what we have here. I really like this. We have a little bit of rump, we have a little bit of memes. I like it, I like it. It's not the best hand ever, but I think we can draw into better stuff. I really like the rump with double willow. Oh man, I'm very giddy today. I'm very, I'm very, you know, smiley and happy. I don't know. Hmm, alright. And yeah, I'm just kind of like my face, just like kind of stuck on happy mode today. Had a lot of fun yesterday. Met some new people, some new friends, so you know it always it always gets me going. All right, we get some color and familiar. Uh, we're missing some wheat mono. Might as well get it just to make sure we have it. All right, so this can be very annoying. Are you really gonna do it this turn? I was saying, oh, that would be really weird. Um. Alright, we're gonna give it on to the Overgrown Tomb and basically just as a little bit of a good romp up, which I like, romp up. And we can use one of the two extra mana for the Gilded Goose. And then we can use the other two mana for another Willow Heaven, play Temple of Silence, go to basically, how much, five mana or six mana, somewhere there. Effectively six mana. Uh, we do have a lot of healing in this deck due to Dolcimir, we just need to get to the Dolcimir, and it's just like our main prime tool versus uh, everything aggro. Oh, well, speaking of the Jevil, alright, I'm just gonna do that, there you go, we're just gonna do one for the Gilded Goosh. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we're gonna do another one on you, I guess. So we can have two separate lands. You never want to have all the Willow, Wolf Willow Heavens on like one land just in case they destroy it or something. Okay. And yeah. So, by the way, for anybody uh, wondering about the 500 uh, subscribers special video, uh, do I want this? I already have like two four five six so no i don't really need another one right now so yeah as far as the 500 special video goes i am planning some stuff it's gonna take a while so don't be too too you know just don't be too hasty about it oh no the power of the goosh of the guys of the gish all right so we can perfectly now kill the Mayhem Devil, which is really nice with Dolcimir. Fortunately, we do lose our uh, wolf, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, that wasn't my mistake for sure. I didn't calculate that because I like kind of forget that uh, this that card exists. All right, let's get Dolcimir down. There we go. So we heal up for three. We kill their Mayhem Devil, we have a good defender overall. Now we're just looking for that, uh, you know, an Eerie Ultimatum maybe. Uh, they need uh, to do a lot of more sacrifices than the two. 
That's only two, brother. And maybe they have a land? Maybe if they have a land they can use. I think they probably have just a land they can use. Oh no, just another witch is over. Man, Mayhem Devil is like so fucking boring. <laughs> I mean, Nethro is great here. He's like one of the best draws we could have. Um, actually, really, pretty much uh, two, four, six, seven. Anything of our big top end is great, in all honesty. So. I could do th three here. And then I am left with four, which is good. Alright. So we do have a three heal from a uh, little old food, which is nice. Alright, that's a serrated scorpion. Holy shit, that's a Lurus. We really need to get our uh, stuff going. Actually, they really have nothing to do with the Lurus right now. Alright, this is gonna take a long while, a lot of procs. We're gonna let them kill that, just so they're like, oh, I can freely, freely attack with Mayhem Devil, and if we can kill Mayhem Devil with Nightmare Albusha, that's great. Yep, exactly what I waited. So this basically just straight up decimates uh, their power, which is great. Of course, the smart thing would be for them to use Witch's Oven on Cold or Familiar this turn to kill the Nightback Ambusher, but they didn't because they uh, decalculate that, so that works perfectly for us. Nightback Ambusher, really good. So, we just actually might not do anything. I take it fucking back, dude. I take it fucking back. We just lures the bitch. We lure, we kill the lures. Let's go. Kill the lures very nicely, very nicely. Nice. We out control the Ragdo sacrifice with our wolves. Who that was Sorry, difficult. So much into that match that I forgot to, to know if uh, I forgot to say the point about the 500 special. But before that, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content. You are awesome. Thank you so much. But yeah, uh, it's gonna be late. I do have. And I have ideas that I'm working on, I really like this hand. And they're gonna take some time, or, well, a lot of time. <laughs> but I think I can make something cool. And I'm looking for... To make something that could last uh, a little bit for the future as well. I just don't want to be like, uh, okay, I just did this one thing for the 500 special, and then I have to think of something completely new. I want to make something like a series of sorts, but not exactly a series. You will see, you will see. It's gonna be cool. I think people are gonna like it. But I need the the execution, the editing, everything needs to be pretty freaking flawless. So. I am not sure that I, uh, you know, I want to be sure that it's gonna be flawless and good and great and all that stuff. So I don't want to, you know, rush it. But there, it will be coming up uh, soon enough, I have to say. So uh, they're playing semi counters, so there is no point in me not playing Nightpack Ambusher immediately here, just because I know they have uh, counters up and. You know what? I don't really care at this point. I really hate Simic Flash, it's a boring deck. It's a very boring deck, actually. I really, really like, by the way, Abs and Wolves. It's really fun, and I think with this version of the deck, which is uh, like literally a little bit of Nethroi and Air Ultimatum and stuff like that, which can have a lot of fun. Well, 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 well. Let's see if this gets countered. I'm betting like uh, 60 bucks it gets countered. Nope, we win. Nice. Get wrecked, Civic. Okay, this star is. Uh, it's a star that goes to Garuk, and it's a star that goes to my heart. I love Garuk. He's so good. I'm so sad that he's underrepresented. Because he's just so fucking fun. Unfortunately, kind of like only control decks and full on wolf decks play him. Uh, we need mana, sorry. But he's so cool. Mm. So we might actually 
We're gonna give this to the forest just because it's actually just a smart idea to put extra forest rocks on the forest, you know? Um, do I play Temple Garden to have Nightpack Ambusher or do I play Double Gilded Goose? Okay. I think uh, I'm gonna actually play Nightpack Ambusher. And then I'm gonna play Top Temple of Garden, Double Gilded Goose, and then we're gonna go to Garuk, and that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna be happy dandy. Aha! Ha! They knew it! Alright, they have somebody with a brain! Interesting. Alright, let's get Gilded Goose and let's get Gilded Goose. And let's get Indatha Triome and we Gucci now. So we have 5 mana on the board, we have another one 6 with a temple. We can play Garuk very efficiently, we could use a Gilded Goose to play Garuk. Uh, I really like I really like how we are doing right now performing with this deck. This deck is so much fun. I really like it. Wow, the music's f fucking loud. Like, it's relax. There we go. There we go, baby. There we go. Dude, I'm so giddy. It's a stupid day. I love it. All right. My opponent is overthinking with mono red, which is a site for uh, intellectuals only. The fuck? Okay, I, I I understand that you is a very correct play. Uh, with not play attacking with robber of the reeds, but you gotta have to play the game eventually, brother. No blocks. Uh, 4 damage versus their deck while I'm so ahead. In my opinion, I'm very ahead. <clears throat> In all honesty. Because I do believe we're very strong right here. <clears throat> Alright, Indatha Trio. I actually should have kept the Indatha Trio to cycle it. That was kind of my mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. We are the Apex Predators. They are all 3-3, which is really cool. <laughs> really cool. So we can get a lot of defenders very, very, very fast. And if they want to kill Garuk, they need to use three two damage spells. And that means that's like that is basically Bone Bonecrusher Giant plus another two from their hand. And that is if they have enough mana, which is plausible, but who knows? But in all honesty, I just want the plus zero, and if we can minus six safely with Garuk, then we basically just insta win the game, because his uh, token is plus three, plus three to all creatures, and have trample. Like, it's insane, I love it. It's so cool, dude. Like, imagine every, seven, seven, three, five, three, five, six, 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 it's so insane, dude. His emblem is beautiful. Beautiful, I told you. So this probably will be the last game of the video. As you know, honestly, I'm kind of late recording this because I'm a little bit stupid. But I really love this deck. It's so much fun. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. How much time has passed? Around 18 minutes. Another four. I actually might have time for another game after this one. If my opponent ever decides to play. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So this goes y'all. Let's go show. Let's go show. So I do believe uh, they have Embercleave, but that is fine because their Embercleave will not go to Robber of the Reeds to kill Nightpack Ambusher, and it will go to Anax to kill the Garuk. Because uh, I think that's how it's gonna go in my head. Now, Mabercle is a really OP card, by the way. If nobody know, if hasn't told you this for in a while, Embercliff is a really OP card. So Embercliff will go to Anax, like 99% sure of that. There is a 1% chance they get it on the Robber of the Rich to kill Nightpack Ambusher, 
but in all honesty this is a very positive trade for me in which they lose Ro Robert of the Reed and Fervor Champion so that's great and again we have Eerie Ultimatums we did put one to the bottom which isn't good but we do have Nethro and we do have the second Eerie Ultimatum oh really really wow impressed I am impressed hmm it's not what I want hmm very tempted for the minus six but it's not the correct play <laughs> you're not scared of dogs are you you dog I didn't play this no I played the temple of silence right right I could have kept the nethroi but I want that eerie ultimatum I want that nethroi I want to just mutate get seed back or you know stuff like that maybe get a icon of the ancestors or something like that Damn, this deck is like really fucking fun, dude. Like, wolves are fun. <clears throat> so they're gonna... Everything on Garuk. If I had to guess, this is like everything on Garuk. That is my... Uh, that's how I imagine this. Like, everything to Garuk. Which is acceptable. But if they go everything on Garuk, I can kind of like swing the board state very much to my... Uh, to my favor. So, do you believe they're gonna use Castle of Embereth or some shit? I'm trying to understand what they're doing. So that is... Oh, they're just like really slow and deciding like... Oh my god, did mono red players... What, what kind of breed of humans are they, truly? Truly, truly, truly. Okay, so goes there, that goes there, that goes there, this goes there. So Garuk will get hit for 4 damage, which is fine, because uh, we get to kill 3 of their creatures. Uh, which means that... Um, which means, again, the board kind of like swings into my favor. Of course, it's also three counters to Garuk. This is an instant. Correct, correct. So, we can pretty much easily save Garuk by Mythos of Nethroi. Mythos. God, I, I, like, I like this card a lot. It's fun. It's a fun card. Alright, let's see what they're up to. Do they play the card in their hand to activate Robbie? That is my question. So we kill both Crusher Giant because he's like the card that kind of like annoys us. And at best they can deal 2 damage to Garuk. Which is not really the best they could do. In all honesty, and by the way, now we kind of like stop them from activating Robber, which is great. And overall, just Garuk, Value Engine, Infinity. We kill their Satyr plus their Robber, so basically only 2 damage to Garuk. He gets back 2 counters, we can make 2 more Wolves. They remain with literally only 3 creatures. I have to say, we are feeling very nice right now. Definitely a very easy matchup versus Mono Red. I mean, they could have very easily won, I think, if they just had, like, uh, you know, if they got the Ebercliff. But then again, it's a high roll deck, unlike us, which we shouldn't be a high roll deck, in all honesty. Let's get the Wicked Wolf. Let's kill Scorch Peter. And this is the end, because they absolutely have no way of winning at this point. Yay.
nice. All right, those were the games. I had a lot of fun today. Such a cool deck. I really, really want to have like this type of assortment of deck of a deck in a real life. I really want to make one of these decks. Hell of an expensive wall, but really fucking fun in all honesty. Like, yeah, true as fuck. Really cool decks, dude. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Great deck. A lot of awesome cards in it. I I just really like it. I don't know what to say. Hopefully you did. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content. Comment down below with anything and everything you want to talk about. Answer to every single humane comment. Also, come over to twitch.tv slash send this letter. Leave a follow if you want. And I will leave you all off with... An opening of Core 20 Deadly. Getting into Core 21 pretty soon. Oh my god, skimming symmetry. It's a horrible card. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.